Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to cover a topic that I've already covered in the past. Um, it's a big topic of debate and it's the Bose stereo system, more specifically the amp repair. I do have a playlist. I have repaired my amps in the past. Um, I believe I have a three video series of how to fix them yourself replacing the capacitors and then I did a follow-up video where I kind of went over that process and then I compared all of the other options that are available um, having your amps rebuilt buying new amps or, or repairing them yourself well I stumbled across a company that will rebuild your Bose amps for half the price of the very popular Bose amp rebuilder. So I sent my amps out for repair. Um, I will document that process, how long it took, the turnaround, and uh, the quality. All right, here's everything I have. Here are my two rear speaker enclosures, my two rebuilt amps, the grill covers, the three tools required for the job. Now two tools are required. You'll need a seven millimeter socket to remove the bolts. These are the bolts that hold the speaker enclosures into the car. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver for the screws that hold the grill into the car. And you may or may not need scissors or something that you can use to cut the carpet. I know that sounds crazy, but it's really the fastest and easiest way to remove the Bose speaker enclosures from your car. Um, there's absolutely no effect on the condition of the carpet in regards to how it sits in your vehicle after you cut it. You're cutting a very small strip, but this the grill screws in through the carpet. So the carpet, just because you're cutting a piece with the scissors, the carpet doesn't sag, it's not going anywhere, you're not gonna change how the carpet in your rear cargo area fits in your car. All right, here we go. I put the uh, screws back in my enclosure just so I wouldn't lose the screws. The amps are basically plug and play. It's just a real simple wire harness. The wiring harnesses are rather short, so you want to make sure the pin connector is on the same side as the harness. You don't want to put it 180 degrees. I'm just gonna start all four screws before I put any of them in tight. And the reason is it's just gonna be easier to align everything. If you start putting the screws in tight right off the bat, you're gonna have issues or you might have issues with the last hole not lining up. Um, don't over tighten. These screws are going into plastic, so the screws are gonna go in pretty tight. The secure the, the screws will be secure. They're not gonna they're not gonna back out. Okay, that's in. I'm gonna put the pin connector back in. One done. Okay, two amps secure. The wiring harness to the pin connector. Secure. All right, these are ready to go back in the car. They are labeled. This is my right rear. So this should be my left rear. 
Yep, left rear, right rear. So here's the piece of carpet I'm telling you you'll want to cut. And what this will allow you to do is spread the carpet open so that you can get the enclosure so that you can get the enclosure in without having to take the entire interior apart. And you'll want to make sure this harness, this is the harness from the car that plugs in to the enclosure. You'll want to make sure that you, for, you remember to keep this in front when putting the enclosure in or else you have to take this out to get at this. All right. Okay, the enclosure is back in the car. So the six bolts go on the inside. You'll see two sets of mounting tabs. The inside one or the lower one is for the bolts that you use the ratchet on. The outside one is for the speaker grill and the screws where you use the Phillips screwdriver. I'm just gonna start them with my fingers just to make sure they're everything is aligned and they go in. And the one down here, the one in the corner, you actually can use the uh, hole. There's cutouts. This is what I was talking about. When you cut this with your scissors, this still isn't gonna go anywhere because there's holes in the carpet on either end of this slice and the grill is going to be screwed in. Okay, the only tips I have for you on installing the enclosures is making sure you have nothing in the way. This enclosure is designed to sit flat and you know, there's foam on the back side and it seals off to create a good this is a base port so the whole design of this is for this to be flush or flat and sealed onto the car so you want to make sure you don't have any sound deadener carpet nothing interfering with how the enclosure sits on the, on the car. And the speaker grill, same thing. Make sure nothing's in the way. You want this to sit on nice and flush. And again, here's another item you don't want to over tighten because you can crack this plastic. I've seen it happen. Go back over the ones you've already done. Just to make sure they're, they're tight, not too tight. That's it.